Welcome back to my channel and today is a shopping haul with a large variety of items from clothing to hair accessories to things for the home. Just some items that I have picked up so far in preparation for spring and for resurrection or what some may call Easter Sunday. So I'm excited. Let's get started. Okay, so first up, I'm going to start with the easiest thing, which is hair accessories. So I picked up hair accessories for my daughter. And they're just hair balls. I don't know what people call them. I'm just gonna call them hair balls. But if you can see, these are Minnie Mouse or Mickey Mouse shaped hair balls. So I went in the store to pick up something for myself and I ended up buying these. I honestly don't know how much any of them cost so i bought two of each color so this is what they had and we're planning a trip to disney this summer so i'm excited that she will be able to wear some of these i also picked her up some more pinks because she always wears the pinks and we always lose them and i picked her up some cube or dice shaped ones so this is the clear ones and i just love that because it's a different shape and they also had them in black so i grabbed a pack of each one and that's it for hair accessories so i bought these from a local beauty supply not like target or anywhere like that just a beauty supply not too far from my home Next up, I'm gonna show you some of the clothes that I purchased and I'll go ahead and start with Brayden because his items are on top. So this was from Target and it's just a quick little t-shirt. Yeah, a t-shirt. I bought him some sweatpants that were, I believe they were on clearance, but I'm not positively sure. A shirt that says, best brother in the universe so if you're new here my name is brianna and i have a family of five including my husband myself and my two children this channel is dedicated to family advice cleaning parenting diys and so much more if that's something you're interested in please make sure you hit the subscribe button like comment and share as you see fit you're gonna notice right now, I am just pulling out all of the clothes that I purchased for my two youngest, my four-year-old son, Brayden, and my one-and-a-half-year-old daughter, Isabella. So a few weeks ago, I went to H&M to pick up some picture day outfits for my two youngest and I couldn't help myself. I had to shop around and I bought a few extra things. So I'm excited to share those with you. So I bought these chino pants for my oldest son. They're slim fit. I love this blue and they were $9.99. So they're nice. They actually, I don't know, I have to try them on him, but I love this color blue. So I bought that and I bought this shirt to go with it. I thought that this would look nice with that. And he can either maybe wear this for Resurrection Sunday or Easter or um, maybe for graduation. I haven't decided how I'm gonna dress it up, but yeah, I think he'll look nice in that. I also actually picked up a two-piece suit. So this is like a linen material. It's definitely summer wear or spring wear. It's not really heavy. This was, the jacket was $34.99. And the pants are slim fit and they are $24.99. I like this a lot. I love blue. It's the boy's favorite color. It's my husband's favorite color. I like it. It's not my favorite color. Moving on to Brayden. 
I purchased Brayden the same pants in a size four or five, which is like a 5T. And his pants were $24.99 as well. And then I purchased this dinosaur shirt. So I picked out a few shirts and they didn't have any of them in his size, but I did see this shirt and I thought he would like it. Um, it's cute for boys, you know, it's not necessarily my favorite, but I think he'll look absolutely adorable in this. And this was $9.99 and it's a four five or US size five T. And I picked up this dress for Miss Isabella, she actually had another dress, a green dress, but she wore it for her picture. So this one is a 3T and it was $14.99. So this is like the tool at the bottom. It's not very thick. I love the stars, I love the glitter and she did too. And it was just cute, so I bought it. Okay, so moving right along, I'm gonna go into my next Target haul, which is more like home items. I have the quick dry towels, and I also have the bath towels or the face cloths or whatever you call them. It's four in a pack, and then there's two of the towels, and these both were $12 a piece. So next up, I have dish towels. I purchased these from the dollar spot and they were five dollars a piece there's two in a pack so these are some fun spring colors i purchased a few of the same ones i'm going to use them in the kitchen i'm also going to put some probably in ella ella bella my own child in isabella's room <laughs> in her kitchen for you know when she's playing and cooking and whatnot so fun colors cute designs affordable next up are the bath mats and this is by threshold they are two so you have the smaller one and the bigger one this is black and these were 18 dollars. so i'm thinking about changing the colors in our master bath and i think i'll do black with some other well probably with this amber color that's what yeah something like that for the accent color so that's what we have so far. Next, okay, so I'm gonna keep it moving so I don't have you here all day. I actually bought these from the dollar spot as well. They were $3 and it's just greenery. I really love these. I purchased two of them, they're super pretty. And they're actually pretty good quality. I also grabbed these vases or flower pots. This one says, give yourself time to grow. This one says, plants are my soil mates and proud plant parent. So these were a dollar and I couldn't pass them up. And I actually have someone that I'm gonna give one of them to maybe two of them i don't know if i actually need all of those but i love it i also grabbed this from the dollar spot i don't really decorate for spring to be honest i don't really decorate for many holidays mostly just like christmas and fall but i think i'm going to use this in a little bit of deck decoration for spring to put something different on the table it was five dollars it was out of the dollar spot and i just thought this little tricycle was so cute i love it i purchased two of these pillows by project 62 they are on sale so I think they're originally $20 and I purchased them for $13.99. So in store, they rang up for $16.99 and then I did a price match with the online price. And these are great and I'm gonna use them as an accent pillow in my living room. I needed a lock for our dumpster at the studio. So 
I think this was like on clearance. It was in the clearance section. I didn't double check to see if it was actually on sale, but nothing too spectacular about that. And then I picked up this cute journal, Let the Adulting Begin. If you know me, I always talk about my planners and my journaling. And this is more like a checklist or to daily to-do list. And I love it because although I use my planner for my events, my appointments, my whatever, I still have to do a breakdown for each day. So like, okay, today I have to take care of this, 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 and this. Today I have to do this, 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 and this. And this just allows me to do that for each day. Here is my mini splurge from the <laughs> Target dollar spot. So these are beautiful, okay? I could not pass them up. They were $3. I don't know if I could have found them somewhere cheaper, possibly, but I absolutely love them. And if you've seen Isabella's room, she has like a green and pink and, you know, white kind of theme in her room. And I just love these flowers and I think I'm gonna do something with them in her room. I don't really know yet, but they were all $3. I mean, they are so pretty. Good quality, just great. So I purchased one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them all together. And again, they were $3 a piece. Hello guys, I am back. It's another day. As you can see, I look different. And <laughs> let's go ahead and finish up this shopping haul. So you can see the last of the items, which are some of the things that I purchased for the children's Easter basket. So I'm gonna start off with candy. I purchased <clears throat> the fun size m and So they're individually wrapped and I purchased two bags. We probably won't use all of these. I also purchased the Easter themed blow pops and I purchased two bags of these and I purchased one bag of the Hershey's eggs and I purchased one bag of the Starburst jelly beans and we don't do a lot of candy here at my house so I just try not to buy a lot of it. Moving right along to Easter baskets. So I purchased this unicorn basket for Isabella, which is super cute. I purchased the shark basket for Blake and the dinosaur basket for Brayden. And it kind of just goes with the theme with having two boys. I typically get sharks for Blake, my oldest, and I get dinosaurs for my youngest. And I purchased all of these baskets from Dollar Tree. So they were a dollar. And I also grabbed more baskets because I didn't know what I wanted to use. My boys are really into soccer. They both play soccer. So they had soccer themed baskets and I just thought those were extremely cute. And then they had the large soccer eggs. So I don't know which one I'm gonna use. I'll probably make a video with it, but I got these and I purchased them from Dollar Tree as well. So next are my eggs and I'm sure I have eggs somewhere in the basement. I'm not gonna look for them but this is a pack of 18 and it has the golden egg at the top, which I love. So I purchased four packs because I never know how many y'all need. I don't know if I'm gonna do an Easter egg hunt or something fun around the house or, you know, I'm not really sure, but I thought the more the better. The more you have, the better. I'd rather have more than not enough. Okay, and the last thing that I purchased was bubble wands. 
or a bubble pinwheel. So there's bubbles in the handle, so the liquid, and then you have this and a pinwheel. I honestly didn't look at how this is supposed to work, but my children love bubbles. So I purchased a pink one for Bella, and I purchased a blue one for Brayden. I didn't purchase one for Blake. He's a little bit older, although I'm thinking about it, and he's probably going to want one just because. And I also grabbed sun catchers. So... There's a rainbow, a sun, a cupcake, and a bumblebee. It comes with the paint and the string. It's a four pack. So, you can put these in the window. So you paint them, let them dry, and place them in your windows. And I purchased three. So I purchased one for each child. And that's it for Easter. That's what I purchased. I grabbed these items from Target, from the dollar spot, I believe. And everything else pretty much came from Dollar Tree and the candy came from Target as well. So once I put the baskets together, I will make sure I get some pictures and some clips of the children opening up their Easter baskets. I'll probably grab some gift cards and probably a toy or two to throw in there, but my boys are older. They really like gift cards. They like Roblox. They like Fortnite cards, PlayStation cards. So I'll do something like that for them with the candy inside their baskets. And Isabella, I'll probably pick her up a small toy or two, something maybe to go with her baby dolls. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the shopping haul and I look forward to doing more videos like this. I will see you guys soon. And if this is your type of content, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share as you see fit. I will greatly appreciate it and I'll see you guys soon.